it is good to be home. Just finished up week 14 with my BJJ training over at Gracie Baja. One of the things I've really loved and enjoyed about this whole experience is the fact that uh, I've been able to train uh, despite you know traveling for work, especially with uh, whether it be visiting family either in Denver or Atlanta or going to Dallas for work and my upcoming trips also going to uh, Boston and other places. The great thing is I have a place to train and continue my progress uh, in the you know in my attendance as well as the things that I'm learning. The fact that you know wherever I go they're following the same curriculum wherever I am. So that's been a pleasure. Uh, other than that, one of the things I've come to realize is uh, because one of the things that they told me before uh, when I first joined up is that uh, you know some schools they have different ratios. You know, for every uh, and you know some schools are it's like for every 100 white belts that walk in through that door, maybe one of them might become a blue belt. And that funnel, that ratio, keeps getting keeps getting uh, tighter, uh, 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 tighter and tighter. So it's just a matter of, I guess. I think one of the reasons people tend to quit at anything, whether it be Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or not, the reason that people quit is they don't have, nor are they clear on three things, which is their baselines, their timelines, and their deadlines. And so, you know, the baseline helps you establish exactly, you know, what it is or how long it will take you to ac accomplish a particular task, whether that be in sales and marketing. Uh, in terms of you know your baselines for your prospects to leads to sales type of ratios, or in the case of your baselines of you know how much can you push in terms of strength, how much can you lift, uh, how long can you roll, uh, and so on. Whether that number is you know once a week, twice a week, four times a week, three times a day, those kind of things. And once you establish that baseline, for me that was with the start of the start of training which was in Ramadan. And so my thing was I wanted to establish a strong baseline knowing to prove to myself that I can train despite being dehydrated and hungry. Um, and at the same time, once that was established, then I saw that I could continue to train and I did. And here I am almost done with the first fundamental cycle, continuing on to week 14. I got two more weeks to go and this is gonna give me at least, uh, at least kinesthetically, a good overview of everything I have and I'm looking forward to another several years at least of training.